to this. <laughs> to do like a step class or something to this. Hey, St. Patrick's Day fans, put down the green beer just for two minutes, right? Because we've got something else that's green for you to celebrate with. That's right. Her name is Melanie Ash. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie is here, our little leprechaun god lover. She's here to show you how you can eat some green foods, incorporate them in your diet for a healthier version of your diet, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, so perfect. today we're gonna talk about a couple of green foods that maybe you haven't heard of. Okay. Because I think we all know about kale and sure. spinach, and sure. we know that greens are really important, but there's- When we said we were doing this segment, we're like, oh, she's bringing kale. It'll be That's kale, what's kale, gonna kale. happen. No, yeah. kale is out. Kale oh. is old news. That's okay. yesterday. New things yeah. for you guys to try and add okay. into your diet. So we'll start with a vegetable that okay. perhaps you haven't ever had before. It's actually called kohlrabi. You I've heard seen of the hobby? leaves, but never the the fr yes. the, 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 the root bulb, part. The bulb. The yes. bulb. So we were joking mm -hmm. beforehand that. that it's kind of um, ugly. But <laughs> so what you do with kohlrabi? It's basically a root vegetable, like kind of a cross between a radish and a turnip. Okay. It's very high in vitamins and minerals, lots of really good stuff, specifically calcium and potassium. Hmm. So we often think we have to get dairies or bananas, right? Well, you is can it grown here or is it a, I'm, I a couldn't important tell you. thing? I think okay. it's probably important. Okay. And what do you do with it? So with kohlrabi, you definitely, first you're going to peel it. So this hard outer part, okay. you want to peel that off. That's not going to taste good. So what I've done with the bulb then that's left, and this is usually the simplest way to eat it, is to kind of make a slaw. So I cut it up into huh. little pieces. There's some lemon juice, some olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. Yeah. And it's raw. It's not cooked or anything. So go ahead and give it a try. Huh. Okay. So it almost looks like um, cucumber. Yeah. It has a, kind of a sweet taste to it. It has a little bitty sweetness. I like that. I get cabbage from that. Yes, it is in yeah. the cabbage family. Yeah. Okay. So it's right. super I easy. Can you can cut that right. up and have it as a snack. There's hardly any calories That's good. in that. Wonderful. Do what I look in healthier? God's name is do I look really that. healthy? Yes, you okay. look great. Go ahead. So that. What are you about to do to us? Is spirulina. <laughs> and spirulina. Was she one of the get, stepsisters whoops. in Cinderella? Right. Spirulina, <laughs> spirulina okay. is actually blue green algae. Okay. Algae. And algae is very rich in iron, which mm. many people don't get enough in their diet, okay. and also has amino acids, which are your protein building blocks. Well, so, even an energy bar. Yeah, I found that at Whole Foods, so we're all kind of curious how that's going to taste. Okay. I haven't tried it yet. Right. What I usually do with the spirulina is to put it in smoothies. Okay. It's the easiest way. And this is just some cucumber, celery, spinach, little lemon juice, a couple berries, because you want the sweetness for the fruit. And I okay. threw some stevie in there for you guys. Yay. Mm. Just a teaspoon of the powdered spirulina. So go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, wow. Can you see the that green in that? So you green. added no food coloring to that at no, all. It's just, it really yeah, is that purely. color. It's like a big spirulina. swig of Buckeye Lake here this morning. <laughs> It's not bad. It tastes like what I thought it would taste like. <laughs> yeah. Which is seaweed, right? It right. definitely yeah. does. It's it in that like same family. It's algae. But spirulina oh. is something that is a good energy booster for you. So a little teaspoon in the morning in your smoothie. All if right. you don't throw yeah. up first. That's yeah. Right, yeah. I'm kidding, so. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so number three, you've probably heard of green tea, although mm -hmm. a lot of people maybe haven't tried it. I love it. green tea. Green mm -hmm. tea is fantastic. It's, it's not as caffeinated as coffee, but it does have a little bit of caffeine. It also has good antioxidants and polyphenols, so it's mm -hmm. definitely kind of an anti-aging type thing. Mm -hmm. So I've just brought a little cup. You can I do, drink it every afternoon. Do They're you? Yummy. I yeah, green too. teas are good. I like a little lemon in it, sometimes maybe a tiny mm -hmm. bit of stevia, because it is a That's little um, grass like. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not mm. sweet. So if you like sweet, you're going to want to add something but to it. But just a little, a little stevia and you're good to go. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So green tea, a cup a day. Fantastic. Perfect. Well, good idea. These? So these are pepitas, pepitas, but are more commonly known as pumpkin seeds. Oh. So when you roast the pumpkin seeds, they take on that kind of greenish brown, which is why they're one of our green foods. So this is just like what comes out of your, your jack o' lantern. Yeah. But they come out of there sort of brownish, and when you do this, they turn green. Yeah. So then when you oh. get them at the store, they are a healthy source of of fat really? and also uh, just one serving which is just a fourth of a cup probably about half of this container okay. of pumpkin seeds has half of your daily recommended amount of magnesium oh. which is fantastic for bone density and things like that a lot of times we Keep don't get regular too that's, true yes. very true <laughs> so you can eat them plain okay. I've made a tiny little trail mix here with some chocolate chips and uh, almonds and now are these raw in. no they are roasted oh they are yeah which is why they're green. Yeah, which is why they're green. Mm. So right. next time you're doing, thinking of doing seeds or nuts, try swapping out and getting your pepitas oh, for your magnesium. Chocolate. That That's is not terrible. a green food. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate and That is actually um, semi-sweet chocolate. Um, My husband's. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it works. It's okay. Yes, exactly. I get it. Great Thank ideas. You. Great ideas. And what was that called again, this one? Kohlrabi. kohlrabi. I actually yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, yeah and you can, you can get that at the grocery store just anywhere you get your produce. Um, the spirulina I usually get at Whole Foods or online, and the same thing with the pepitas. But, okay. Yeah. yeah, you might be on your own for the, al for the algae. 
but the rest of it's really gummy. Yeah. Hey kids, come one, come all. Mm. Grab some algae. Yum. <laughs>